Hello everyone, it's Daz, and this week's discussion is on welcome mats. Friends, the entire world is experiencing food shortages. Supply chain breakdowns continue to have a domino effect on everything, especially food production. Farmers can't plant as many crops now because of fertilizer shortages, forest regulations, and high fuel prices. This will cause more painful food shortages when we run out of food we're eating now. Food takes time to grow, so when farmers don't plant, months later we don't eat. That's why you need to prepare for an increasing number of food shortages, and the best way is to invest in ready our emergency food for my Patriot Supply. It's a perfect hedge against skyrocketing prices and shortages. Right now, save $50 on a four week food kit from my Patriot Supply. Go to preparewithdaz.com and get your $50 savings on four week emergency food kit that average over 2,000 calories per day. That's preparewithdaz.com. Those who know what's coming are getting prepared now. Shouldn't you? Preparewithdaz.com. My apologies for uploading a day late and not getting to the Sunday upload. I'm catching up. Been very busy while here in Los Angeles. But one thing that I keep coming across on TikTok is this idea that welcome mats are bad. And of course, the people that are saying this oftentimes are people who are within the occult. And at first, it sounded like really silly superstition to me. But the more that I think about it in the way the English language is designed, when we have a mat outside of our home that says welcome, which is a very common practice, who exactly are we welcoming? Now, usually this is just a friendly gesture to whomever knocks at the door to feel welcome. Not everybody that comes to your door to solicit, to sell, to visit, is truly welcome. So... I'm beginning to think more about this, and we can talk about it tonight in the stream at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do you think having a welcome mat in itself, not saying it's like a sin or it's evil or it's bad, but do you think that when you understand the way the spirit world works, the way words work, the way thoughts work, the way different entities need permission to be let in and i'm not just talking about demonic possession but even to be around you do you think it's wise to have a welcome mat or do you think that no big deal like it's just superstitious not mumbo jumbo i'd like to know your thoughts on it and we'll talk about it in tonight's live stream along with anything else you'd like to discuss talk to you later and have a wonderful rest of your week take care and god bless